the upside is now in theaters and it stars Kevin Hart and Brian Cranston and they are friends. Not at first though. This is a film about a man who is disabled, he's a quadriplegic, and he needs a caretaker. He needs the right caretaker. That's where Kevin Hart comes along, he's down on his luck, and he starts helping him as a caretaker. They become friends and he'll live happily ever after? Question mark. So the upside, is it a good film? Well, first of all, let me just say this. I've seen the original. Uh, yes, this is a remake. I've seen The Untouchables. And it is a good French film. I really think it is a good film. So when I saw the trailers for The Upside, I was like, this is literally the same premise of The Untouchables. And then, of course, I did my research. And I was like, oh, that makes sense. Why? So I was very apprehensive, especially since Kevin Hart, I'm not the biggest fan of, for those of you that don't know that. Um, I like Brian Cranston, though. And I like the director, Neil Berger. He's directed uh, Limitless, which I think is a fun diverting film. The Illusionist is a good, very underrated film. So yeah, I was very skeptical. And here's the thing. The film has neat performances. Kevin Hart, not a big fan of, but he has some nice, funny moments, I thought personally. Brian Cranston is grumpy in the film, but he does a good job of being grumpy. Nicole Kidman is more nuanced, and she does a good job. And I think the film does a good job of being crowd-pleasing. Like, if you want to see a film that is crowd-pleasing intentionally, this is definitely the film, because this plays every single crowd-pleasing button. And it's for better or for worse. Because whilst there were some moments to this film that I thought were fun, I think overall, you can't help but just notice the sentimentalness of this film, because they just, they really pour it on. And for me personally, I... It's very, very hard for a sentimental driven film to actually touch me and reach me to the way, you know, very few of them do. So it didn't work for me, you know, and I have to say also the pacing was very meh. You know, you had the film, it was going really fast in the first half and the second half, it just starts taking its time and it just feels very uneven. Also, it does that cliche of having, um, you know, comedy in the first two acts and then drama in the last act. And also, I hate, I really, really hate, and this isn't a spoiler, but I hate those cliches of, you know, best friends or friends where they're friendly with each other and all of a sudden they're like, ah, I'm not your friend anymore. And then they break up and then it's like five minutes later, they're best friends again. It's like, what the heck? You know, and it's usually for the dumbest reasons. And the upside follows that trend to a T. And it's very annoying. I hate that cliche so much. And the film also, it just, it ends on a very anticlimactic note. Like when it actually comes on screen about like, you know, the real life people. Because yes, The Untouchables was a real life story. I'm just like, could have just watched the French film. So, but for those of you who haven't seen The Untouchables and don't like foreign films for some reason... The Upside is probably in your league. It's a film that you'll find diverting. You'll probably enjoy it. But for critical moviegoers, it's really not worth your time. It's a film that it just preys on the sentimental nature of everyone. And it's a, a far, far inferior film than The Untouchables. And again, I know people are like, well, you can't really compare and contrast. But you can't help it, you know, when these two films are both based on the true life story. The Untouchables did it better. And the upside for me, I'll be giving it a two and a half and a five star rating, which it's generous. Again, there are a lot of flaws to this film, but it's more along the lines of just another sentimental film that just falls into the, you know, comedy cliches. But it is what it is. It's a film that two days from now I won't remember. But the upside, guys, what did you think of it? Did you like it? Did you not? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget the subscription, notification bell, and I'll catch you guys later.